has no sanitation to speak of. A community I visited had one toilet for 600 people. Women stood in line for three hours to make use of it. Schools normally form a spine of protection for children, a place where children can seek humanitarian services and normality. Go ahead. Education is... Yeah. Well, <clears throat> education is you're, you're making the ground shake. <laughs> <laughs> education is in many ways Madam President, am I okay to continue? Education is in many ways life saving, but not in Gaza, where every single child is out of school and eighty percent of education facilities have been destroyed. <laughs> Regarding the earthquake, I spoke to the governor. He thinks everything's under control. He's not too concerned about it. The governor of New Jersey, so things are all right. On Israel, 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 Mr. President. Pardon me? Did you threaten to stop military aid to Israel? I asked them to do what they're doing. Approximately one hour ago, millions of New Yorkers felt the effects of a 4.8 percent or 4.8 magnitude earthquake, uh, the epicenter of which was in central New Jersey. That is about 40 miles, 45 miles west of Manhattan. We actually felt it here in the capital in Albany. People felt it on Long Island uh, and all over the state of New York and indeed the East Coast. We're taking this extremely seriously and here's why. Uh, there is always the possibility of aftershocks and I'll get to that in a moment, but uh, we have not felt the magnitude of an earthquake of this level since about 2011. Actually, I was in Washington. Uh, this is one of the largest earthquakes on the East Coast occur in the last century. So I immediately directed my emergency management team the second we received word of this to start doing damage assessments, uh, any life in danger, and finding out whether there's any bridges or tunnels that are compromised. And so, uh, and I want to announce that right now, JFK and Newark airports are on full ground stops to assess uh, any potential for after effects. And we've been in contact with the utility companies uh, to make sure that the gas and electric services continue. I will report that Amtrak and MTA are on full schedule, no disruption there at this time. Right now, it's most important that we have our structural teams out there, our engineering teams, surveying our bridges, our roads, any area there could be a fault line that is not easily detectable to make sure that uh, passengers on our rails as well as our commuters are safe. 
At this point, uh, you know, heading into an hour and a half after the effects, we've not identified any life-threatening situations, but we are certainly asking our local law enforcement and emergency services teams to be on guard for that as well. But again, we are going to be reviewing all potentially vulnerable infrastructure state sites. I felt actually the earthquake uh, and uh, I, I uh, felt uh, my head and uh, my stomach was shaking. Uh, uh, afterwards, I, I thought that uh, it was earthquake. And also uh, last year, uh, we actually, uh, we, 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 I don't know, maybe you know, uh, we had a big earthquake in Turkey uh, at south southeastern part. and. Uh, I am from southeastern part, so I felt bad actually. So I can feel better maybe uh, when we compare the other uh, citizens. I wanted to sit <laughs> and have a br uh, bre break, and uh, so now I'm here. We were in our hotel room and it, we felt this rumbling on the floor and it felt like there was a subway going under us, but it was longer than when a train would go under and I thought, is that an earthquake or not? And, and then we left and we came down to Bryant Park and then we got the emergency alert. So our question is, why was it an hour later? <laughs> and you weren't like, scared at all? No, no. I, I grew up in California. I was scared. I've never felt one before because I grew up in New York and we don't really have them often. So I, I thought it was a train personally and then it just kept going. So it was probably 10, 15 seconds. I felt really uh, strange because it was my first time experiencing that. I was actually at the office and I just left early. So that was pretty crazy to be honest. Um, I was really scared. And that's why I'm going home right now. And uh, yeah, just hope everybody's safe. Yeah, that's not So we were on the subway and we got a notification of the earthquake. We didn't feel it on the subway. But then my wife was calling me because she's in the hotel in Midtown. So obviously 43 levels up in the air, I guess you feel it a bit more. Um, so she felt it. And you know, it's always a bit worrying when one half of your family is in one area and the other one in the other and an earthquake happens so but we're all safe now which is good <laughs> even though they didn't go in i ain't scared of anything never scared if it, if it gets you down you gotta get back up never give up <laughs> <laughs>